Alright, so my engine uses one of these to rewind the starter pull cord. Um, unfortunately, I broke mine recently, so I ordered two new ones from the manufacturer. And unfortunately, when they got to me, they did not look like this. They looked more like this. So at first I was a little bummed that uh, it was giving me such a mess. started looking online for um, looking through YouTube to see if anybody had videos on how to get this mess into this little plastic cassette here. Um, there were a few videos online. Uh, a couple of them seemed to use um, the actual pull starter mechanism to kind of wind it back up while being held on by something. Um, unfortunately, I don't have that thing. Uh, it's not detachable as part of the engine itself. Um, and so I have to be able to use just my hands or just the tools I have available to get it into this cassette. So I found a way um, to use stuff that I had laying around. Um, you can do it with two pieces of wood and four screws. Uh, I'll explain how to do that here in a second. So, uh, First thing we need to do is get just a, uh, a small, this is just scrap wood I had on hand, um, it's just thin plywood. Um, we put two screws into it, in my case one smaller than the other, uh, they can be the same size, but you want one of them to be able to fit through this hole right here. So I don't know if you can see that. but. We've got the two screws, and uh, one's holding the actual center, and then one's just giving it something to turn against um, so it doesn't just rotate in circles. So there we go, we got those two. Now, before I start the next part, I want to make sure I have this on the right direction. And so the way we're going to want to do it is such that I will be able to put this on top of the wound thing, uh, the wound coil and then basically pull it off from there. So right now, since this has this little tab here, this is the wrong direction. So you can see that. Flip that around. Put it back on the small screw. And now when I have this all wrapped up, this will go inside the tab like so. So now that I have that on the right direction, I'll flip this back over and lay it onto the other piece of wood, like so. Uh, I think I just lost the spring. Okay. So put that into there, lay it back down. Now here's where the third screw comes in. I just screwed it into the baseboard I have here. Um, and it's going to grab this and give me something to wind up against. So I screwed that all the way down past flush with this level so that I can spin this board and go right over top of it like that. So this gives me my rotation that I'm going to need to wrap this guy up. That happens on occasion. Just gotta get that fish back onto there. It also helps to pull these guys together, so I'm just gonna slide closer to that screw. And keep turning. Turn, 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 turn. And you want to keep pressure down on these boards to keep the springs from popping up. Alright, almost there.
And then, once you get it wound up nice and tight, that should do. I'm gonna put in, my battery's going low, put in the fourth screw. You can see the screw I have winding up again. I'm gonna put a fourth screw in right beside that one. So while I'm holding that down, helps to have a hole drilled already, make it a little bit easier. I'm just gonna screw that down. Basically, it'll give it something to catch against when I lift up. So now that I have that in place, I'm gonna get under the spring, keep it all flat against this top board, get all the way under it, and then slowly pull up on that guy. And now you can see I have the entire thing wrapped up and this screw is holding it in place. I should be able to let go entirely. There we go. Everything is nice and coiled. So now I'm going to take the empty cassette. Hopefully we got things in the right direction. I'm just going to squeeze it into there. So there you have it. Now I can still let go. Everything's still wrapped up nice and tight in there. Just flip this back over. And that fourth screw that we put in to hold its place, all you're going to do is while you're pushing down, take that screw back out and you'll hear it. Once that's out entirely, spin things around and you can pick up the board and there you have it.